Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resilience Commission. Today onwards, I'll upload the new series of videos on GOC. Okay, so today we'll start the uh, like a new series of videos that is on GOC. That is nothing but general organic chemistry. Okay, today I, I would like to discuss the like basic introduction of GOC. Now I'll explain the those basic introduction of GOC in in the form of tree diagrams. Okay, now I'll explain the three tree diagrams. So what is, first one is the like basic introduction regarding to the carbon atom. Again, the second one is the like a GOC. What are the terminologies are observed? Again, what type of uh, GOC? What we should learn for the uh, like our future organic chemistry? Now, the third one is classification of uh, like uh, our carbon atoms, that is organic compounds. Okay. So first of all, GOC is nothing but uh, so it is it is nothing but uh, carbon and uh, hydrogen related compounds. Okay. Carbon compounds is nothing but generally organic compounds. Now let's move on to the like a diagram. So here it is the like a carbon atom this is the carbon atom okay now so the atomic number of carbon is like a six again so period number of carbon is two second period the group number of carbon is group number of carbon is like a 14th group it belongs to the 14th group now, the electronic configuration is electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Now, again, the valency electronic configuration is valency electronic configuration. So, that is 2s2, 2p2. So, this is the simplest valency electronic configuration of carbon atom. Okay, now here at the ground state, uh, two, uh, two unpaid electrons are available, but at a first excited state, uh, so four unpaid electrons are available. So that's why here it forms the like a large number of catenation power. So due to the catenation power, it forms the huge number of carbon compounds that is nothing but our organic compounds. That is nothing but uh, our organic compounds. Again, it having the like a major allotropes, major allotropes of carbon atoms. So we know that uh, like a uh, graphite diamond graphite diamond fullerenes coal so etc those type of, of the like a major allotropes of our carbon atom again the shapes of the molecule the shapes of molecule shapes of carbon atoms that is the shapes okay so simply we have the shapes of molecule based on the like a hybridization some of the molecules it's shown the like sp3 hybridization some are sp2 hybridization some are sp hybridization so sp3 hybridization shape of the molecule is tetrahedral like a sp2 is the trigonal planar trigonal planar sp is the linear okay, now the based on the hybridization organic molecules are uh, different different shapes so if molecule is sp3 it is a tetrahedral sp2 trigonal planar sp is the linear based on the carbon atom hybridization okay now here it it forms the like a covalent nature it forms the like a covalent compound covalent nature so the covalent of the compounds are like a different different types of covalency is there so here covalent So different different types of covalents are there. So one is like a C double C single bond C. Another one is C double bond C. Like a final one is a C triple bond C. C triple bond C. Now here it is the one sigma bond, one sigma and one pi bond, one sigma and two pi bonds. These are the like basic compounds. Now again uh, carbon is having the different different types of energies. Like here it is called alkane, alkene, alkyne. Alkane, alkene, alkyne. So those alkane, alkene, alkyne is the part of the chapter for the basic level of students. Okay. Now here, so like a bond lengths of these uh, bond lengths of these alkane, alkene, alkyne. That is the three types of organic compounds. That is uh, simply hydrocarbons. It is uh, alkane, alkene, alkyne. Okay. Now the bond lengths of compound atoms are like a C single bond C greater than that of the C double bond C greater than that of the C triple bond C. Okay. Now again another factor that is bond enthalpies. Bond enthalpies. Okay. Now here it is quite re reverse uh, regarding to the above one. C double bond C, C, tri C triple bond C, C double bond C, C single bond C. Again the electronegativity of atoms, electronegativity of uh, carbon atoms. Here 
it is the like a C triple bond C more than that of the C double bond C. C double bond C is more than that of the C single bond C. Due to that, here it is the SP hybridization, SP2 hybridization, SP3 hybridization. Now the percentage of S character is 50% over there. Like here, percentage of SP3 character 33 point something. Here it is the 25%. If S character increases, electronegativity of carbon atom increases. This is the simplest point. Okay. Now that's all for this. Uh, first tree diagram okay now the first one is carbon atom which is related to the different different uh, types of compounds so it is a picturized compounds picturized literature okay now carbon atom atomic number is six so the those electronic configuration one s2 two s2 two p2 valence electronic configuration is two s2 two p2 it is the ground state configuration here two unpaid electrons are there at first exit set it gives the four comp four uh, four uh, like uh, unpaid electrons again it having the like a specialized like a uh, special characters specialization of uh, special character regarding to the other elements that is uh, like uh, simply here it is the like it forms the catenation so that is the major advantage so major advantage of carbon atom it it forms the huge number of uh, organic molecules that is the major part it 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 undergoes the like a catenation it having the more catenation power more catenation power so that is the like major advantage of uh, carbon atom okay now again so major allotropes are uh, simply graphite uh, diamond fullerene coal etc okay those type of compounds now here covalent bonds it forms the three types alkane alkene alkyne so alkane having the one sigma bond alkene alkene having the one sigma one pi alkyne having the one sigma two pi now the those shapes of the molecule based on the sp3 sp2 sp like sp3 is tetrahedral sp2 is planar triangular like sp is the linear molecule now the finally those bond lengths and bond enthalpies uh, as well as electronegativity of carbon atoms was classified like this so this is the simplest introduction regarding to the carbon atom now let's move on to the like a uh, second uh, introduction that is the like a uh, goc Now let's move on to the like second red tree diagram that is related to the GOC. Very interesting things. Now here it is the GOC, General Organic Chemistry. Okay. Now, so today onwards we will discuss these GOC topics only. Okay. Now here, so first of all, here it is nothing but a like a, it's related to the intermediates. Intermediates. Now again, it's the another part of a, like a types of reactions types of reactions now they it is the another part of uh, like uh, electronic effects electronic effects now the final thing is like here it is the reaction mechanism reaction mechanism each and every topic in goc it is a uh, itself it is a unique property that is that means itself it is a very important one okay without knowing the any part of the goc so organic chemistry is uh, something is something empty okay so with the help of uh, complete knowledge about our uh, goc that leads to the like uh, more stuff in organic chemistry more strengthen in you in organic chemistry okay now here the goc are it related to the mainly three uh, four parts so one is the intermediates so again another one is the types of reactions third one is the electronic effects fourth one is the reaction mechanism now let's move on to the electronic effects so electronic effects are two types so one is the polarization effect polarization effect so another one is the polarizability effect polarizability effect so polarization it is caused by the cations it is permanent effect it is permanent effect but it is caused by the negative ions here it is the like temporary effect temporary effect so the polarization like permanent effects are mainly so it is uh, like uh, it leads to the inductive effect now the second one is mesomeric effect the third one is uh, hc Hi hyper conjugation third one is hyper conjugation these three are the permanent effects now the like a uh, polarizability effects those are inductomeric effect inductomeric effect like a electromeric effect electromeric effect 
So this is the inductomeric, and another one is the electromeric effects. These these effects are in uh, available in electronic effects. Okay. Now arise in electronic effects. Now again, uh, some other uh, topics are also there. I'll introduce those topics at the time of electronic effects topics. Okay. So another one is like a conjugation, a resonance, a such type of a such type of words. Okay. Now the types of reaction. So generally, types of reactions are like a very simple thing. Here it is the addition reactions. Now again, elimination reactions. Now let's move on to the one by one. So that is the substitution reactions. So third one is elimination reactions. The fourth one is rearrangement reactions. Now the final one is pericyclic reaction. Pericyclic reaction. For the like basic learners as well as uh, like IIT JE and NEET students, uh, they are they are having the like these four only their syllabus in their syllabus. That's why it's uh, it's enough for these four topics in types of reaction. So one is addition reaction, substitution reaction, elimination reaction, rearrangement reaction. Again, addition again addition it having three types. One is electrophilic addition, nucleophilic addition, free radical addition, free radical addition. So electrophilic addition, nucleophilic addition, free radical addition. Again, substitution having the, these type of additions. So mainly substitution, SN1, SN2, like a nucleophilic substitution, it having the like a SN1 prime. Again, ARSN1 type of reaction. So those are the nucleophilic. Again, elimination here, acid catalyzed elimination, base catalyzed elimination. Acid catalyzed elimination, base catalyzed elimination. Again, it having the different, different types of eliminations are there. So those are the like alpha elimination, beta elimination, gamma elimination. Okay, again alpha elimination is having the different different types, E1 elimination, E2 elimination. Okay, now rearrangement of reactions. So here it is the uh, several type of rearrangements are there, carbon deficient, nitrogen deficient, uh, like etc. Those are those are different different types of uh, photochemical rearrangement reactions, etc. Reactions are available in rearrangement. So pericyclic it is for like uh, CSAR and IIT JAM, like uh, GATE students only, not for the uh, like JE mains and advanced as well as uh, NEET students. Okay, so the, this is the like types of reaction part. Now, intermediates, it having the like two types of intermediates. One is the carbon related intermediate. Carbon related intermediate. Carbon intermediates. Other intermediates. Other intermediates. So, carbon intermediates mainly here it is the like a carbocation, carbanion, carbon free radical, like a carbene, like a benzene. So these are the like reactive intermediates in, in which is related to the carbon atom. So now other 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 uh, like uh, other intermediates are nothing but uh, like a nitrine as well as uh, elites, sigma complex. Those type of compounds are uh, those those are the other type of intermediates. Okay. Now let's move on to the reaction mechanism. So here reaction mechanism is nothing but uh, simply here uh, the first reaction mechanism so which is related to the energy profile diagrams energy profile diagrams now again like a uh, types of reagents we are observed types of reagents like a uh, uh, named reactions so those those named reactions are, which are all which are all involved in our reaction mechanism classes named reactions so these are the like main GOC topics uh, which are helpful for the competitive examples Competitive students, mainly IITJ as well as uh, NEET and uh, CCR as well as GATE JAM students. Okay, so this is the very basic part regarding to the GVC. Okay, so let's uh, take a screenshot on these uh, these topics and let's move on to the another tree diagram. Okay, so this is the GVC intermediate types of reactions, electronic uh, effects, and reaction mechanisms. Now let's move on to the another one that is uh, like uh, a third one that is nothing but a classification. Now let's move on to the third uh, tree diagram that is related to the classification of compounds. Classification of okay. Now it is the classification. Now let's move on to the like organic compounds. Organic. 
organic compounds okay so now here so generally organic compounds that means uh, it is a uh, open chained compounds open chained compounds and closed chain compounds closed compounds simply open chained compounds and closed chained compounds again open chained it having the like different different types of compounds that is a saturated compounds uh, unsaturated compounds saturated compounds and unsaturated compounds again closed chain it having the two types of compounds uh, like a homocyclic compounds homocyclic compounds heterocyclic compounds heterocyclic compounds again homocyclic it having the two another classification so mainly so the homocyclic compounds mainly it is classified as like a alicyclic compounds not aliphatic it is a cyclic compounds alicyclic compounds and aromatic compounds so here also heterocyclic alicyclic compounds are available again aromatic compounds are also available aromatic compounds again the aromatic compounds furtherly classified into two types that is benzenoid compounds and non benzenoid compounds non benzenoid compounds simply now so again this is the like a uh, closed chain compounds structure now here let's move on to the let's move on to the our previous one open chain compounds saturated compound unsaturated compound unsaturated compounds again furtherly classified as two types one is the double bond compounds another one is the triple bond compounds so this is the single bond compounds so homocyclic means a uh, alicyclic compounds simply uh, simple cyclic compounds aromatic compounds benzenoid compounds benzene compounds now non benzenoid compounds these type of non benzenoid compounds so alicyclic means uh, like a tetrahydrofuran these type of compounds aromatic compounds that is a furan type compounds so these are the simple compounds regarding to the our organic molecules our organic molecules <coughs> excuse me so this is the organic compounds classification now let's move on to the so another classification based on the organic compounds uh, so that is the based on like a carbon chain linkage carbon chain linkage so based on the carbon chain linkage it is classified as like a so if carbon carbon single attachment is there so carbon can shared with a, a, their bond with only one carbon atom so then simply it is called as primary carbon atom what is called primary carbon atom so if organic organic compound it having the two connections with the two different carbon atoms so that is the secondary carbon atom so the now let's uh, uh, see on the like a represented circle uh, like a square box the carbon only now the third one so if carbon which is connected to the like a three carbon atoms three different carbon atoms then it is called a tertiary carbon atoms okay all are in single bond forms okay now the if carbon which is connected to the four carbon atoms so that is the uh, like a quaternary carbon atoms quaternary carbon atoms now here it is primary carbon secondary carbon tertiary carbon quaternary carbon atoms these are the very basic basic uh, uh, terminology of uh, carbon chain compounds carbon chain compounds again carbon having the more friendship nature with uh, some of the elements like uh, oxygen atoms and nitrogen atoms halogen atoms okay with the help of those atoms it forms the many of functional groups so that is nothing but uh, like a friendly nature of carbon atoms like a friendly nature of carbon atoms like it is a friendship with other atoms so that is a, that leads to the like a functional groups like it forms the functional groups okay now here the functional groups of atoms it is uh, mainly classified uh, based on the carbon atom functionality like oxygen carbon with oxygen functionality carbon with nitrogen functionality carbon with uh, halogen functionality okay so first of all we will we'll look down to the carbon oxygen functionality so that is a uh, like alcohols <coughs> excuse me like a uh, carboxylic acid ester like a uh, coc ethers these type of uh, functional groups are there alcohols acids esters ethers etc okay now let's move on to the sim very simple compounds carbon with oxygen friendly nature now carbon with nitrogen friendly nature so here it is a uh, carbon nh2 that is amines three types of amines are there primary secondary tertiary now let's move on to the another type of uh, nitrogen derivatives so amines again c triple bond and cyanide so that is nothing but nitrile compounds again it having the uh, again friendly nature with carbon halogens that is carbon chlorine like carbon fluorine carbon chlorine carbon bromine carbon 
iodine carbon iodine okay so th these are the uh, like a uh, carbon friendly nature compounds so here it is the alcohols acids esters uh, ethers uh, amines imines nitriles like a uh, carbon fluoride carbon chloride carbon iodide carbon bromide etc those type of uh, carbon friendly compounds that is nothing but uh, like it it forms the different different function group with uh, different uh, uh, different uh, atoms so different uh, electronegative atoms so mainly it forms the like a uh, friendly compounds with the more electronegativity atoms not the lesser electronegativity atoms the lesser electronegativity atoms are also available but it is uh, less stable than that of the more electronegative okay now let's uh, these are the like a uh, classification of organic compounds the, here it is the organic compounds classification here it is the due to the friendship nature it forms the like a different different type of functional groups again due to the carbon chain linkage it available for the four types of compounds that is a uh, uh, primary secondary tertiary quaternary carbon atoms okay that's all for this video here it, here, here with uh, we will discuss the like three types of uh, flow chart that is a tree diagram so first one is the carbon related car carbon related theory now the second one is the goc so the goc is main important one so uh, the GOC topics which are uh, discussed in our uh, series of GOC that is uh, organic chemistry general organic chemistry series okay if it is possible I'll upload the 20 or 25 GOC topics uh, regarding to the like basic learners as well as IIT JE students as well as NEET students finally it is very helpful for the CSAR gate and JAMA aspirants okay thank you I think it is uh, very helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching